Mike Shaw, UBA World, welcome, 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 welcome. Battle Bowls, UBA Heavyweight Championship match. Today we have the World Championship Heavyweight match. Correct myself there. We have the champ, Charles Juice Winters, representing Dirty South Legends against the South champ, Nick Crispy, representing Minnesota Society. We are now wrapping up practice here at Bolarama for this great South versus South match here. What are we looking at right now? These two dudes obviously know each other, both bowling from the South, have seen each other's games, know each other's background, all kinds of stuff. So we are really, really about to be in for a show here. So I hope you all are at home, relaxing, eating popcorn, chilling, watching, getting ready for this great match. As I am, I have a front row seat, Brandon Holloway. I'm doing nothing. Um, the champ, Juice. Man, everybody knows Juice. Like, it's, 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 no, it's no secret about this game and how he plays. And same with Nick, man. Nick Christie has been in some great, great matches. And he is here for a reason because when, it's time, when the lights come on, it's time to shine. Nick's ready. So, again, we got the champ, Juice. We got the champ, Nick Christie. And we are about to get started. And this is going to be great. I want to shout out UBA down here at Boulder Brown. Man, the atmosphere is incredible here for everything we got going on. They got the Final Four down there going on, man. I mean, it's just, it's UBA. Y'all know what UBA is. UBA all day. Energy's electrifying. The atmosphere is great. Humans being humans, man. Hey. You could have been anywhere in the world, but we all are here, you know. Again, we're getting ready for this match. We should be coming up on the end of practice shortly. Juice trying to make sure he get the final, final touches to his game set to start this match. Nick Christie's over here just being Nick Christie, you know. Again, these two know each other. I wonder if they had probably bowled at some point around each other, against each other at some point. So there are two guys who are not new to each other. And what we about to get is like an excellent championship match. I think we're about to start looking around to find out for sure. But again, man, these two, both of them, representing the South here today. Juice the champ. Lane seven to 16, hold up on your practice. Seven to 16, hold up on your practice. I was waiting for that announcement. So as you can see, that was the hold up on practice, but these two guys, they don't need practice, man. They already ready to get this started, so. We're now about to start. Championship Series heavyweight match. Again, the champ, Juice Winners, representing the Dirty South Legends against the South Champ, Nick Christie, wearing the Ministry of Society jersey. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready. It's about to be a great match here. About to get started. The champ will start off on the left lane. Kenny Lowe giving this good luck, dap ups <laughs> to both guys. What are you doing today? How you doing, sir? How you doing? Again, these two guys know each other, man. This is going to be outstanding. It's gonna, be a, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a great match. I've seen a couple of Nick Christie matches when I was in the South, even here at uh, UBA events. And my man's always in battles. And my man always comes out on top, but nothing against the champ, Juice the champ. Again, you're the champ for a reason, man. You have defended your belt. You've made it to this point and everybody knows who you are. So again, 
the world champ confidence. It's just another day at the park for him. Let's go, start it up. So again, here we go. Frame one. World champ juice. Coming up the gate, 10 of them. 10 pin field kind of late, still good shot there from Juice to start the championship match off. Now up next we have the Southeastern champ, Nick Christie. And again, Nick Christie's one of them. Again, he's been in these situations before, these title matches before, nothing new to him. I'm out the gate with a fast eight count. Man, one thing about Bowler Rama and these back ends, man, these back ends are unforgiving. You gotta maintain your speed, get the ball down the lane. If not, the ball will check up on the back end like it always does. I don't care where you at in this bowling alley. If you miss or if you slow, ball speed wise, that ball will definitely check up. Oh, Nick Christie with the chopper. Frame one. Uncharacteristic of the Southeastern champ. But again, it's Nick Christie, man. Like, you just never know. You never want to give nobody early openings or just the point about the, to start trailing. And again, you got the real champion juice, man. He'll take advantage of that. And it's just the first frame. You just never know how it goes. Nick Christie, second ball. Second frame, 10 pin. That ball was definitely better than the first ball he threw up in the first frame on that lane, on lane eight. Looked like lane eight moving a little bit more. I saw it in practice. I was watching them, and I was just wondering if they saw it as well. Because, you know, us bowlers from the carpet, we see one thing other than what they see when they're up there on the lane. Spare made by the Southeastern champ, Nick Christie. Again, man. Battle Bowl, Bowl of Rama. If you know, you know. Awesome atmosphere, man. Great bowling all over, throughout the entire bowling alley. It's the place to be. The champ juice up. 10 more. Start off the game with a double. And like I said, man, juice been in these situations before, man. It's no pressure with him. It's just, hey, come in here, you do what you gotta do. Defend this title and keep it moving. Nothing new to him at all. I've never seen him like in situations where he's feel like he's being pressured or he's sweating or he's nervous, you know. Some guys are just built for these moments. And at the times I've seen Juice Bowl when it came down to it, he's been that guy that's just been ready for whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. And the world champ starts off with three in a row. That's why he is who he is, man. That's what he do. Definitely what he do, man. You got the South versus the South, man. Shout out to the South. I got two guys in here battling for the world championship, man. That's 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 kind of cool, man. Nothing like it. Nick push the third frame. Push those all the way back. Like I said, man, with these two, man, you just never know what you're gonna get. You know, they both they both stay focused. It's not it's no pressure to these Eric two guys, man. Eric Lindsay. Eric Lindsay. So again, man, it's like it's pretty much what you get when you get these guys, man. It pretty much is what it is, man. Nick Christie in the fourth with a double. I'm telling y'all, man. These matches between, when these guys be in these matches, man, it's, just, it's the norm to them. Some people are built for these moments. It's no pressure to them. You know what I'm saying? They here, they do what they do. It's just them. Juice with another one. Start the game off for another. Okay. 
Ecco. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, Dansbury, I think, I think you're right. I was asking that earlier. I wasn't sure. But I think you are correct. I don't think Nick has lost a match in this building. Juice with the full pin. But he is now going against Juice, the world champ, who throws it really, really well here in Bolarama. Starts the game. Four in a row with this full pin. All right, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is game one. This is game one of the World Championship Heavyweight Series. So this is game one, match one. Juice for a spare here. Of course, spare made. What is that? What is that? Comes out four in a row, four pin spare. Nick started the game off, he chopped the six to 10. Came back with the 10 pin spare. Now he's on a double, going to the fifth frame. Nick in five, ooh, that's a, a tough call, man. Again, Nick three in a row, you're definitely right. I like Nick, but again, I'm telling you, man, Juice gonna make him earn it. For everybody who out there, again, these two guys know each other, man. It's not gonna be a cakewalk for either one of them. They both are really like bold to win this match. They really are. It's not gonna be easy for neither one of them. Dance very appreciate it, man. And good run yesterday, man. I tried to get down here to catch some of your match, but I was down on the other end, man. I, Gordon was coming out and giving me the scores, man. Good run yesterday. Nick in the sixth frame. Throws another one, which gives him four in a row. And you never know how Bowler Brahma plays. Like, we were talking about it earlier, the low end where these two are bowling down here on seven and eight. Plays, of course, differently than how the house plays in the middle and, and then definitely different how the, on the high end. So you never know what you're really going to get when you step out here. Juice right back at it with a strike in the sixth frame. This building, man, though, I think everybody, everybody in here strikes, you know, except me. Huh? I might be the only one that does a strike in this building. <laughs> Michael Pooty Booty Shaw might be the only one who doesn't strike and bowl around. She'll get me in here every time. I don't, I don't care. Doesn't matter. We got Juice up in the seventh frame. Almost left the seven ten there. Seven pin stood up for ju for Juice. <laughs> hey Ryan, I was wondering that. So when I got the word I was doing this match, I'm like, wait. Both bowlers from the south. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> The South running the heavyweight, the heavyweight division, man. You got both of them down here. Juice covers the spare. I was wondering the same thing, man. Hey, man, I think Nick is familiar with bowling around my period, not just lane five and six. They're actually on lane seven and eight. But again, I think they both are. Let, let, let me add Juice to that, too. Like, they both are just familiar with this building, period. Nick Rock, the 10th pin in the seventh frame. But again, man, both of these guys, man, they bowl good everywhere. Nick and Juice, when they have on bowling shoes, I don't care where they are, you're definitely going to get a show. Shut up. Right now, sitting at 126 of you all listening and tuning in, watching this great match between Juice, the heavyweight champ, and Nick Christian champ for the South, who spares on the 10-pound. 
You have 22 300s here. Hey, man, that's tough, cuz. So it kind of good. You need to be here this weekend. Who are you, UBA team? You should have been here. If you're doing that. You got Nick Christie here coming up in the A-frame on the spare. Flat 10 pin there. Ball looked really good off his hand, getting up the board, man. Carry, carry, carry. All us bowlers have that issue every now and then. Um, I think Nick is throwing the new vibe, I think, from here it looks like. As a matter of fact, they both are throwing the vibe. They both are. Both of them. I might got to go with you on that. I think they have been kind of, I don't want to use the word running or owning. Let's just say the South has produced <laughs> a lot of the heavyweight participants. Right. The shot there, Juice. Strike by Juice there in the A-frame. <laughs> Man, don't we all watch those guys go down there and be like, can you do us a favor and not step on the lane, please? That's what we all think to ourselves. And whoever that guy is, they human. They always step on the lane every time. Juice with the 10th pin in the ninth frame. It's nothing like it, man. Again, you get these guys down here who know each other. Again, this is this is the norm to them. Juice has on the edge of our seat just now, but he covered the 10-pound. Not bad here. Shout out to all 135 of y'all tuning in right now, man, to this awesome match, game one. World Heavyweight Championship Series match. The champ Juice representing the Dirty South Legends against the South champ. Minutes inside his own, Nick Christie. Coming up on the ninth frame for Nick here in game one. Big shot there by Nick, big shot. That was a huge shot going to the 10th frame. What? Can't punch out here for a 237. Got a nice little crowd down here too, man, checking this match out. Shout out to the South. Hey, Rick. I'm drinking Gatorade right now, Rick. Rick, I am on. I am working, Rick, okay? <laughs> ah, Nick with an eight count. Boy, can I check that one? Come on, Rick, you gotta be careful, okay? I'm, on, I'm, I'm at work, Rick, I'm drinking Gatorade. You can text me that question, sir, <laughs> if you don't mind, Rick. <laughs> so, the Vixens match. The Vixens does not um, bowl until after, um, I forgot her name that fast, Tracy Bowling. She's bowling in the, um, the, the women's trio. Okay. No, okay. In oh. the G-Town playoff. Oh, the playoffs, so it's after that. Yes, yeah, so the, the Vixens, uh, so which is Cussie Hellman right there, is waiting for the final the, four. To, okay, yeah. so after the final, the Vixens, ma the Vixens match will start after the final four. Yes, Casey, Casey, I am not lying to you. I am drinking Gatorade at this moment, Casey, at the moment. Hey, yes, I do. Hey, after yesterday and today, I do need all the electrolytes I can get to sit right here and talk to you all. Come on now. Nick switch bowling ball, tries to He's a mean nine pin. Game one, Nick finishes with a 216. Man, barring anything crazy here by Juice. Looks like Juice will take game one. I know one thing, man, that final four down. 
the at, again, the atmosphere in the building for you, people. It's just real live. For the ones who are not here today. It is just real, real, real live in the building today at all, period. Juice up in the 10th frame on the spare. He carries the 10 pin late. Very true, Dean, man, neither one of them. Neither one of them have missed the pocket. I mean, I think Nick might have came up high maybe two times, but you're right. They both really must are going to stay around the 1-3, so you're right. It's all about who's definitely going to carry. Game one definitely will go to Juice, ladies and gentlemen. That's all right. Where am I? Who leaves the box? Yeah, both, both definitely throwing vibes. Both of them, yes. Even though Nick changed, I didn't see exactly what the ball was, but he picked up another bowling ball for the field ball in the 10th frame and left a nine pin. But both definitely started out game one throwing the vibe, the new vibes. Juice finishes game one with a 227. So after one, the heavyweight champ, Juice, 227. Nick shoots 216. Puts Juice up. One game to nothing. Two of this best of seven <laughs> heavyweight title match with the champ Juice taking game one, 227, to Nick Christie's 216. Again, man, shout out to the 153 of you all, man, that's sitting here listening to me watching this match, man. Thank you, man. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but you are right here with us. We appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Nick Christie, first frame. Comes out with a 10 pin. Who has switched again from my position, ladies and gentlemen? I can't really see the equipment from here, but he's no longer throwing the vibe. You great bow naughty people. Y'all probably can tell what he's throwing from watching it on TV. Again, I am in the minority sp spare made by Nick in frame one. Of everybody who does not. <laughs> Strike in this bowling alley, man. I'm telling you, I'm the only one. I am the only one that does not strike in this bowling alley. I might give you a couple every now and then, but definitely not what it is. The champs up frame one. Juice looked real good game one, man. Didn't miss the pocket too much. Cover spares. Still with the vibe. Ah, that, that's pin action, okay? What you call pin action? Look at you all, man. Look at you bowlers. <laughs> the defender hybrid. Look at you bowlers, man. You, again, from, from, from sitting at home in that living room eating popcorn, I'm not going to say what you all are drinking. I don't want to do that. But whatever you have as your beverage of choice, you all can spot the equipment from there. And I'm sitting here with these four eyes of mine. I can't tell you what it is. Juice up for frame two. On a strike. Give him another one. The champ starts off with a double. Hey, Rick, this Gatorade saving my life right now. I want you to know that. Gatorade is impressive. Shout out to Tia. I don't know where she went. Tia ran and got me a Gatorade. <laughs> Everybody drinking Gatorade, Rob. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're all doing. <laughs> Nick bounced back with a strike frame, too. Again, man, y'all know these two dudes, man. Y'all been seeing them both for a while, man. They strike. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's all about who's going to carry in this building today. 
to find out who comes out on top here. But again, man, they both throw the ball really good, man. It's a it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip, Ashley, who can win this. But so far, it's looking like a, a little advantage towards Juice out the gate, out the a game in two frames. But it's Nick Christie, man, who comes right back with a double. It's Nick Christie. You can, he's never counted out, ever. He has never counted out. Do Cynthia Jordan, you can't be taking back your messages now. Okay? I'm sitting back here watching. We all see that. Hey, oh, so whatever you said, it didn't say that. But I'm gonna take that. How are you? <laughs> all I saw was, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Rick. Ask him, Rick. Send him down here, Rick. Oh, God, Juice, great fucking ball. Oh, woo. Nine pin for Juice. Here in the third frame. Rick, it's Gatorade. Hey, Rob, man, Nick throws it really, really good, man. Yes, he did. Great ball change. But again, it's what he do. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be rare that he's not going to be in play no matter where Nick Christie has on bowling shoes. He's going to always be in play no matter where he is. Yes, Sean Wade, game two. First game with the Juice, 227 to 216 over Nick for game one. This is game two. Fair cover by Juice after leaving that mean nine pin. Ball was all the way in the pocket. Hey, look. So right now I'm drinking Gatorade, okay? But before I grab this microphone <laughs> to commentate this match, I was drinking something else. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, no, I don't know who I'm talking to. So I want you let all 147 of us know who you are. The chant with another one in the fourth frame. Man, Juice looked real good today so far. He's throwing the ball really, really good. These two here, man, like, I hope they go seven. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't bowling. Give me some more Gatorade from Tia. <laughs> I can sit here and do this all night. Y'all here with me, so we gonna do it together as a group. Ha, ah, kinda wide there for Nick. 10 pin in the fourth frame. Hey Rick, both of them, okay? Again, Juice looks real good to start out, but hey man, I've seen Nick Christie everywhere. Man, they both, both of them Rick. You definitely will see me Thursday up Cap. Shout out Capital Plaza, DMV Zone. Listen, bottom line is we start Thursday. Listen, you know how I go in there on Thursdays, man. I'm drinking Gatorade today, right now, though. Thank you, man. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that, man. Hey, listen, I'm here for y'all. Nick covers the 10. He would have made the 7 at as well. He would have covered the 710 if it was one over there. <laughs> hey Dennis, I would not be surprised. I really would not be surprised. I mean they, they both they both again both of these two, Juice and Nick gonna be around the one three no matter where they're bowling, man. So if they did go seven last time, guess what? I got a front row seat. Y'all do too. Nick bounce back strike. <laughs> bet Ricky, I got you. I bet you do. Juice up here in the fifth frame with that vibe. Ten of them again. Somebody just walked past and was like, I'm betting with the South. <laughs> again, shout out to the South, man. Got both of y'all guys in here battling for this belt. Two of y'all. Two of y'all top guys down there, man. Juice and Nick, man. Like I said, I've seen Juice roll the ball everywhere. And I've definitely watched Nick everywhere bowl. I've been down south here at Bowlerama, everywhere bowling. 
Kevin. I am broadcasting live from Bowler Rama here in Newcastle, Delaware at Battle Bowl. Juice a little bit inside for eight count. And again, man, got a nice little crowd down here to stop down here representing they guys, man. Back here watching. <laughs> Covers the 610. Juice goes double nine, double eight. The Southeastern champ Nick comes out of the gate with a 10 pin spare double nine strike. It's like watching these two, man. It's like they, they, they mirror images, man. They, they robots, man. Solid at the line. And again, man, always around the one three. It's rare you're going to find half these dudes. Nowhere near the pocket. Ah! Pocket seven, ten, ten pin falls for Nick. And I tell y'all, man, this Gatorade, woo! For the people who was here or might have heard me yesterday broadcasting the uh, SBC Exit Wounds match. <laughs> Gatorade is a lifesaver. Nick Crystal covers this seven pin spare in the sixth frame. At the six, World Series champ Juice 127. Nick Crystal sitting at 119 at the halfway point. Ten back for Nick again, man. Like I said. All about who gonna carry, man, with these two dudes, man. They real consistent. I definitely like how solid they are at the line. It's all about who carry, man. All about who get the carry. On the low end in Bolaram. Ten more for Juice. In the seventh frame. Sitting here at Battle Bowl Live, Newcastle, Delaware. Me and all 193 of you all hanging out with me. I wanted to know I appreciate it. Thank you very much. UBA all day is what we do. Juice here in the eighth with a two, four, five, seven count. Feel like he missed that one on the bottom ball, got down the lane, never turned. He's human, okay? We just found out Juice is human today in frame eight of game two. Show that he's human. <laughs> Spare covered for Juice in the A-frame. And it makes you wonder, it makes you wonder these two, like, they've been in these matches before. They've been in this, and you know, these type of settings. And it makes you wonder, like, is there a game plan or do they just get up here and just do what they normally do and just strike like they always do? Is their defense being played, you know, anything? But 10 pin for Nick and the A frame. I mean, it just makes you wonder, like, when you bowl a guy for so many times and you know what they're capable of, you know, is there any kind of, like, are you doing anything different that you would do if you were bowling somebody else as opposed to bowling a guy that you just know? But again, us as bowlers, I think we pretty much step up and just focus and worry about us and do what we need to do to throw good quality shots.
Nick covers the spare. Eight frames. We have not had an opening yet. I take that back. Nick chopped the six ten in game one. Coming up in the ninth frame here. I think Nick would like love to have this one to give him a good setup going to the tenth frame. And he covers ten of them. He didn't like it, but hey, man, listen, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but 10 is 10. See, see, that's how I bowl of my caliber. Like, I don't really care how they fall. <laughs> ball leaves my hand it's between my bowling ball and Jesus. I hope I get 10 of them. Whatever happens, happens. Got juice up in the ninth frame. Still throwing the vibe. Boys just then back for 10 more. These two dudes are good, man. That's what they do. Eight pin difference. Going to the 10th frame, both bowlers on a strike. Looking at 229. Juice first ball in the town. Big shot, 10 of them. Two dudes strike a lot, man. They strike a lot, both of them. Second ball in the 10th frame. Ten more for Juice. That shot there. Gives. Who will lead in his best of seven match. Yeah, man. We all know how bowling goes, man. Bowling is bowling. And as good as Juice looks to start these first two games, his opponent can get lined up real quickly. So right now, got game two. Juice with a 235. First ball, Nick is a 10 pin. Juice will take game two and will give him a 2 0 lead. I think Nick at some point has to make an adjustment to cover some of these 10 pins. He left a couple of them. Ball definitely found under one three. He's just not carrying the 10 pin, so. But we all know it's Nick Christie. He'll find it, he'll do what needs to be done. But he will be down 2-0. To the world champ. Juice. Close the game out with a strike ball for Nick. Is that the game two? We had Juice for the 235. Nick with a 209. Juice leads the match. Two games in up. After two. Never worry though, man. Again, man, you all know how this goes. We 
it's matches. So we down on the low end. Juice leaves the 10th on the first ball. First frame, game three. We down on the low end on uh, seven and eight. You have the final four matches going on in the middle of the house. It's some other championship matches to the right. And all the way down also, we have the women's trios. So we got a few people down here spectating, hanging out from the south, watching these two go at it. And we have a foul by Juice on his spare. Is Kenny Lowe around? Kenny Lowe's right here. Juice just got a Kenny Lowe. Got a foul. Juice right, so Juice, what did they say? Juice, today, Juice, today, hey, Juice, Juice, Juice foul. Today's letter is F. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We did. We could have. It's okay. Hey, guess what? As an official on the sidelines, he just went over just enough, but after he threw it, foot got drawn. Back, that was back. it. Challenge flag. Ball switch by Nick comes out with a strike. Hey, look, look, look. These lights are not malfunctioning. Okay, that's what it is. So we're going to go with that. Hey, no, no, no joke. Because they know me. I'm a fouler. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we, de we definitely know. Everybody say, hey, Kenny. Woo. Stay behind the line. Woo. The F, is, that, the F is a K, depending on what bowling alley you're wearing with Kenny Lowe's bowl. <laughs> South Region champ Nick starts this game off with a strike. I think Nick's gonna come back, fight hard this game. Again, he's been in both. He's been in both games. <laughs> Never count Nick out, man. Like ah, nine pin on the second ball. Never count him out, man. Nick's been. Nick's been throwing the ball differently, switching bowling balls, trying to find a, a decent line to carry the 10 pin. Because again, he's in the, he was in the one three. He was in the hole, he just wasn't carrying a couple 10 pins. Nine and 10, 11 and 12. I can't tell you that from my vantage point. I'm sitting here behind uh, seven and eight, but don't get me wrong. Give me a minute. I'll gather some info for you. And I'll get some of the uh, the count on those lanes over there for those matches. Right now we got Juice up here in this World Championship heavyweight match. After going nine, Kenny Low, which is a foul in the first round. Juice has now switched to another bowling ball that my non-bowling self can really like help you all out with from back here. Again, you, you good bowling guys sitting at home on the couch. What ball is that juice throwing? Come on. Viewer participation. It's a great ball switch, by the way, because that ball went through the 1-3. Comes back in the third frame with 10 more. Like Juice went to another ball after going with a foul in the first frame on the 10th pin with a double. Oh. And again, that's what these dudes do, man. Like, they do this. We all been sitting here watching Juice, and he was in the hole with the first two shots, with the first shot in the first frame. Nick Christie a little bit outside, leaves a split, and Juice decides to go to another ball when it looked like he was already lined up with the vibe. And he comes right back with a double. The champ Juice is up two games to nothing. And his best of seven match. Yeah, UBA Battle Bowl. World Heavyweight Championship match. Me. Michael Booty Booty Shaw. Spare cover by Nick. Michael Booty Booty Shaw representing DMV's DC Mafia. Me and all 170 of you at home watching. I am appreciative. Thank you for being here. It's Saturday night, man. Y'all could have been anywhere. Doing more than listening to me and watching these guys throw strikes.
Look at you guys. The Teal Rhino Pro. Again, man, y'all know this. Nick with another one. And y'all should see the people back here. It's like, they not really cheering for either one. <laughs> they just back here like, hey, good shot. Hey, good shot. High five and good shot, you know? Two good guys here, man, battling. Both representing the South. Shout out to the South, man. Look like y'all owning the heavyweight division, man. Ah, Chief's got there a little late music temper. Awesome atmosphere here today. Nothing like it. And like I said, man, I was watch we all been watching Juice and he first two games with the vibe. That ball looked really good, but bowlers know their game and their equipment. Man, Juice said, you know what? Let me pick up this rhino. Somebody said, yeah, Brian said a teal rhino. Peel those off. That ball got there a little late though, but that's why they are who they are, man. It's what they do. Juice up here in the front frame working on a spare. Ten more. For juice in the fifth frame. Nick on his last name. Looks like the ball got a little bit too right on him. And he uh, left a split, which he covered. Let's see if he does anything different this time. Absolutely did bury that one. Nick Christie with the double, which he acknowledges the crowd that he has a double. Again, man, you can never count out Nick Christie, man. Like I say, couple, couple bad frames, couple bad breaks from that current in this match. And he throws another one, which gives him three in a row at the moment. The world champ. Juice up here in the sixth frame, working on a strike. <laughs> His opponent, Nick Christie's on three in a row, trying to get this match, get this win to get back into this match. With Juice being up two nothing. Juice comes back with a strike, giving him a double. Um, I don't think there is no, the North versus South is not bowling yet. What you got going on outside of this heavyweight championship match is the women's trios at the upper end of bowling room at the high end. And in the middle, you have the final four that's going on with uh, Outrage Bowling Murder, Inc. and Exit Wounds Bowling Royal Flush. That, that's what's going on in the middle of the house right now. Juice up in the seventh frame on a double. Crash, 10 more. DJ here playing a couple of classic good tunes. Sean Carter's on. Nick Christie up in the seventh frame. Working on. Three in a row. Ten pan. You almost want to say this is a must win for Nick here in this game. 
because you really don't want to go down 3-0. G-Town, I apologize. Not Royal Flush, let me apologize. It is G-Town, you're right, Mr. K. It's uh, G-Town down there. That's why we are who we are. To let me know that I had it all the way wrong. That was a good match between them yesterday. Right now, Juice can go 258 if he strikes out. And Nick can go 45 if he strikes out. I have no updates on the other matches yet. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Gordon or somebody to walk down who I can get, send down there to give me some info on those other matches. Bear with the guy. I'll try to get that for us as Nick comes back with a strike in the A-frame. Shout out ATL, Chris Bridge, shout out ATL. I, I wanted to be down there for that match. I really did, but guess what? I'm here with you all, man. All 172 of y'all, I appreciate it, man. But yeah, it's a lot of excitement going on down there, but we got a great match right here. With the champ Juice up now on three in a row against Nick Christie, man, so y'all got me. 10 more for Juice. Like I said, man, this was a, I mean, almost like a must win for Nick right now. Again, we all know how bowling goes, man. You can go down 3-0 and just turn it around, and the light switch comes on before you know it is there. Man, giving me the info down there. Thanks, Dennis. I appreciate it, man. Again, it's, it's live down there right now. Juice on four in a row here in the ninth frame with 10 more. Mind anything happening in 10 frames, it's like Juice will take this game. But again, Nick is right there. So now he has to put the pressure on Juice in the ninth frame. He has to finish right now. With the roll, late 10 pin kick. Nick Christie with the roll. Messenger got there in time. It's a big shot for him. He needed that. Yeah, I think they only, uh, I think actually they're down there broadcasting, streaming the uh, Outrage Murder Inc. match, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Got Nick up in the 10th frame on a double. I'm looking at a max score of 45. 245. That was the first one in the attempt. Juice sitting down, waiting for the 10th frame on five in a row, looking at a max of 258 if he strikes out. Hey, that's a great question, man. Juice, is, Juice locked in. He's been locked in since practice, actually. He's been looking really good. Again, Nick's right there. Couple, couple 10 pins away. Goes through the face on that shot. Needs the four seven ten. So barring anything crazy in the 10th by Juice, Juice will go up three games to nothing on Nick Christie here in a real championship heavyweight match. As Nick finishes game three, with a 231. Like I said, right now, Deuce Max is 250. Juice first ball in the 10th. Oh, whoa. Leaves a split. Juice is human. 
Yes, he is, because that boy never faced up. And Juice covers the spare. What a shot. What a shot. Hey, man. That wasn't easy, but he made it look like it was easy. He made it look effortless. What a pickup by Juice. Comes back with 10 of them. Give it to Juice. Back to back 235s for Juice, who now takes a 3-0 lead over Nick Christie. in a World Championship heavyweight match. Best of seven. What a, what a split conversion to win the game, to pull it out. What a shot. That was tough. So, what Nick gonna do? Nick gotta show something. Get him one at a time, slowly but surely. Comes out with 10 of them, or Can Juice maintain the momentum and come in here? Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's human because <laughs> he left the split and he made it. <laughs> so, exactly, yeah. We definitely got to take it back, right? <laughs> Juice first ball, first frame game four is a strike as well. Both bowlers start game four out with a strike. It's going to show you the grind, though, man. Like, sitting here and I'm looking at Nick. Nick's cool, like, no sweat, no nothing. Yes, he's down 3-0, but Nick has the confidence with, though. He know he can win four straight if he gets up and performs and, you know, do what he has to do. Don't think Juice gonna lay down and just give it to him, who leaves a 10 pin on the second ball, but. <laughs> that was dope. Another shrimp on the bar, dude. But again, man, can't count Nick out. Again, bowling is, bo we are bowlers. We never feel as though that we're out. We never feel as though that it's over. Yes, granted, he's down 3-0 with games of 227 to 216, 235 to 209. 235 to 201 was Juice made the split in the 10th to, to win that game. So again, Nick's been right there, man. So you never know how I can go, how I can be. Juice covers the 10th pin for frame two, game number four. Live, battle bowl, ball around my Newcastle, Delaware. Me, Michael Pooty Booty Shaw. And 174 of you humans. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. You be appreciate you. Could have been anywhere in the world. Nick, pretty second ball. Second frame of the 10th pin. Nick left that ball, left his hand. He kind of didn't like it off his hand. He immediately. 10 pin covered. These guys make that look easy. Sidebar for me personally. <laughs> I think I am like two for my last 20 on 10 pins. My, my DC Mafia team looked at me like I was crazy today <laughs> in an uncap. <laughs> Like, where's your spare ball? <laughs> Tim gave me the blues today. It's all right. Sh shrimp, pasta, Alfredo. Don't play with Alfredo. <laughs> Nick up in the third frame. Push those 10 back. Not the Alfredo, man. <laughs> A 
like I said, man, from practice, man, Juice, they both look really good in practice to start, you know. But, um, of course, Juice being up 3-0, they both been around the 1-3. Juice has just been looking like a little bit more relaxed as he's thrown 10 more. I think he made a, the ball switch that he did make. I'm sitting back here like, well, you were striking with the vibe, and he ended up, you know, going to the, they somebody said the Teal Rhino, and he's right in the, in the hole with the ball. So to be able to know the lane condition and know, and know your game and know your equipment to go to that ball and still striking, Really, really, really good adjustment. <laughs> I only had one Gatorade. Again, shout out to Tia for the Gatorade. Thank you for the Gatorade. I'm shouting you out, letting everybody know. Juice for 10 more. If Tia, if Tia ain't getting me that Gatorade, I don't really know how to tell you all how this broadcast would have went for me, man. I was. I'm surviving though, I'm surviving. <laughs> yeah, Juice started the game four out, up three games to nothing. Strike spare double. The South champ, Nick Christie, down 0-3. In the fourth frame now, started out with a strike, spare strike in this shot right here. 10 more. This bowling game, man. You just never know, man. Like I said, Nick Christie going to fight to the time to take his bowling shoes off. So all they can do, being down 0-3, is take it one frame at a time, one shot at a time. That's all they can do. You can't do no more than that. Juice on the other hand, man. Juice is relaxed. He's cool, calm, collected, man. Nick with another one. Gives him three in a row. And again, man, these two dudes know each other, man. I think somebody posted. The last time they bowled, they both went seven games. So again, they know each other's game, man. Nothing like getting out here competing. That's what we do, man. We love this sport. Juice coming up here in the fifth frame on a double. Leading this best of seven World Series heavyweight championship match. Three games enough and over Nick Christie. Ten more for Juice. And like I said, man, Juice has, has been just looking really, really good since practice. And like I said, you knew what you're going to get. When, when you had both of these two, when both of these guys on the lane bowling each other, you know, I mean, both of them throw the ball really good. Juice not the champ for nothing. Nick not the champ for nothing. Like they bowled to get here for this reason, so. Huh. First bad ball today by Juice, the big four here in the, the sixth frame. I was just informed, the Richard Nixon. My, never heard that from my, in the DMV. Brand new to me today. But I'm gonna take it with me back home. Fall league start up this week. <laughs> I will be taking that back with me. <laughs> Definitely borrowing that. Juice gets one. Six one for Juice. In the sixth frame, working on a, was working on three in a row, gives him 120 in a six. Nick Christie with a strike, spare three in a row, coming up on his sixth frame. That might be the opportunity. That might be the moment for, for Nick to try to get a game. And again, down 3-0, all you can do right now is take your time and one shot at a time to try to get back into this match. And he does just that, took advantage of the open and strikes a four in a row. Hey man, again, shout out to the 180 of you all 
that are tuned in with me and UBA. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Nick up in the seventh frame, working on four in a row. Gives you another one. Hey, man. Told y'all earlier. I'm not picking nobody to win, you know. But give me, give me seven of these. I'll sit right here. Y'all will sit right here with me. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Sitting back on that couch. Probably watching us eating popcorn, eating pizza, drinking Gatorade. <laughs> hey, where you going? Ten pin for juice in the seventh frame. Shout out to everybody at home drinking Gatorade right now. Beverage of choice today. Juice coming up on the 10th hand. <laughs> Spare cover. So, I mean, still got three frames left. Got Nick Christie on six in a row on 280 pace. Look like Nick's gonna get this game. Same back with Juice in the eighth. Like I said, man, I'm sitting here and I'm watching Nick, and you would think being down 3 0, he might get up here and just stop, you know, pressing, you know. Nah, man, Nick. Just laid back cool with another one in the eighth frame. One frame at a time, man. The poise, like my man just relaxed. You wouldn't think he, if you walk down here not knowing the count, you wouldn't think he was down three up. You know? But again, we got all night. Bone Island ain't going nowhere, neither am I. And neither are y'all hang around. Ten more for Nick in the ninth frame. So, mathematically, Nick Christie has won game four to keep himself alive. Nick Christie avoids the sweep. But you never know, man. All it takes is one game, you know? A little bit of momentum. Juice strikes in the ninth. This now allows Juice, you know, to possibly switch up, try something different for the next game, or stay right where he is and keep it up. It is now three to one. Nick down three. Nick down three, three one. one. Three one. Three one. Nick's gonna win this game. South on Dre Gate for coming over. Checking out the count. Strike by Juice first ball in the tenth. I'm up here talking about what Nick has to do to like get back in this match. All Juice has to do is, you know, get back to what he was doing earlier, you know. Take his time, quality shots to get through. But looking at Nick this game, Nick has found a little something. He's actually found a lot of something. With the 10th frame coming up on 280. Second strike in a tenth for Juice. Series heavyweight champ. Juice finishes game four 
with a 229. Southeastern champ Nick Christie. Two strikes away from 280 for game four. And now makes this match three games to one. Another strike by Nick. Who needed this match to stay alive? Okay, G-Town down there. Woo! 8-4, oh my God. That's G-Town, way to go. And Nick Christie with a 280 for game four. And that's how you bounce back, okay? How you stage off the possibility of being swept. And might I say, all of those look good. <laughs> Tell Nick to change jerseys. <laughs> Coming up on game five, ladies and gentlemen. With Juice leading three games to one. In this best of seven match. World Series Heavyweight Championship match. Juice starts game five out with a strike. Just back to normal like it was, like it was nothing. And Nick continues with a strike in the first round. As always, man, UBA all day. Michael Pooty Booty Shaw. Bowling Rama, Newcastle, Delaware. Tampering for Nick on second ball in the 10th. And all 195 of y'all. I've been saying it all night. Thank you. I appreciate you. UBA appreciates you. Thank you. Y'all in for y'all in for a good one. Y'all in for a good one. The champ juice up three games to one. Nick just threw 280 on him, trying to fight back. Ten pence spare. Juice decided to stay with the ball to Rhino. And somebody told me what ball it was from home on their couch. Thank you, I appreciate it. Awesome 10 pin. And like I said, this is game five. And it's been only one spare missed, which Juice had a split game four. He did. But other than that, it's been one. Makeable spare miss between these two guys, man. Did I jinx him? I tried, I didn't. Spare cover by you. Hey, hey, DJ, what up, Sam? The commanders, well, I'm not gonna do this to you now. Not, 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 not right now. This, this not the platform for it. Cowboys, commanders, you know, you know I would go, but I don't wanna do it to you, man, not right now. I wait till I get back home. I'll catch you up, Cap, Riverdale or something. We, you know, we'll have our little, you know, real quick, you know, couple minute debate. I don't want to do it yet. Ah, juice for the good outside with a split here in the third frame. Juice covers two. Juice starts off game five. Strike, spare, split. 
46 in the third. <laughs> hey, man, preseason, man, listen. That's why I said I was going to chill out. I really, I, really, I really didn't want to do this right now. Not on this platform, not but on our friends watching. You know, this UBA be doing bowling. We'll we talk, we talk Commodores and Cowboys at another time. I mean, Commanders, my fault. I apologize. Nick Christie with a 10 pin. Pin the third frame. Yes, ma'am. You sure can. Uh, this is a uh, uh, bowl of Rama. Ten pin covered by Nick Christie. Were they rude to you? Oh, I'm sorry. Game five, this world championship match. Heavyweight champ Juice representing the South's Dirty South Legends leading the South champ Nick Christie. Menace to society's own. But Juice up three games to one. Nick comes back with a strike in the full frame. Anybody uh, give some updates on that uh, that outrage match down there? Outrage Murder Inc. Somebody want to post that for me real quick if y'all down there peeping that. Juice with the ball with a ball switch. Taps the 10 pin. It's rocking, but it's going to stand in the full frame. Jesus, outrage. Wow. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it, sir. Spare cover by Juice in the full frame. So again, Juice has gone, made a ball switch. That outrage match is on Bold TV, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hey, Rob, again, man, hey, from my vantage point, man, these four guys can't see what bowling ball that is. You, again, whatever bowling ball it was for Juice, he just threw 10 of them. But, Rob, I'm going to go with you. Evo Pearl. I believe you. I mean, that's, that's what I told you. I was like, yeah, don't sweat. Like, don't, don't kill yourself. Um, I'm sure that... Nick Christie up here in the fifth frame. What a pocket. 7 10 and 7 pin field late. He left a 10 pin last time on that pair. And you know what? It's not like. Spare cover. I think I need another Gatorade, humans. Hey, Tia. Tia. Me. I need another. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nick Christie up in the six. Through the face. Full seven, nine for Nick Christie. Here in the sixth frame. He gets two. Gives Nick. 105 in the six. Let's see if Juice takes advantage here. 
up the opening. Again, we all bowl here in Bowlerama. And I don't care what part of the house you're on, low end, middle, or the high. If you miss inside, ball's going through the face. Yes, Gatorade. Listen, Juice comes back with a strike in the sixth. Hey, listen. I, I'm not gonna say my night was rough, but I had a I had a great day yesterday, okay? This bow only has two bars, okay? I had a great day yesterday. And not only do they have two bars, those two bars were open today at 10 o'clock. So yeah, Gatorade is a must right now. All right, don't worry about scoreboard, I got you. Uh, Juice working on a double. Right now. He made a big move. And he carries. Kick the six, seven, ten, eight. Right now, Juice can max out for 246. And Nick can punch out for 225. And he kicks the 10 pin there. So right now, Juice is in the lead. So check this out. It's very weird, but if 702 doesn't work, maybe 701. Nick needs to take his time these last couple of frames. Put a little bit of pressure on Juice. No, not yet. You got it was almost. Nick just went 280 game four to stop the sweep. But the way it looked now, he's leaving a 10 pan. This might juice on three in a row. This might be it. You never know. You never know, Juicy. On three in a row, coming up in the A frame. I guess he's not sauteing that shrimp no more. Yeah, yeah, not no more. Nick shooting the temp in here. Spare covered. If Juice throws this strike here, put a lot of pressure, man. On Nick. It's a huge shot coming up here for Juice. I was told by Rob, it was the Quantum Evo Pearl. Three in a row with that ball since he picked it up. Up here in the eighth, make it four in a row. For the heavyweight champ. Juice. Four in a row going to the ninth. Who's yeah. picked this ball up? Got inside a little bit. Shaky nine pin. Here in the ninth frame. I think Ted went to get my Gatorade, everybody. I don't see her in the cut no more. Spare covered by Juice in the ninth frame. Serenity's coming around, telling the rappers take his 50-50. And we're cash, not jerseys tonight. It's for cash, not a jersey. Shout out to all 200 of you all that's sitting at home with me right now watching this match. Yes, Tia Gatorade, been in the corner, everybody. Yes. Nate Christie will strike in the ninth frame. Shout out to Tia, everybody. Tia is the MVP today. Yes, Tia. Gatorade to the rescue. I don't know if y'all heard that, but oh god, that was refreshing. And Nick Christie 
splits on the first ball in the tenth. And ladies and gentlemen, that means your winner and steal. Real Championship Series heavyweight champ. Winters with the W, ladies and gentlemen. Over Nick Christie. You want to give uh, Juice an interview? Absolutely. Are you good? Shout out to Juice. The count. Juice is your winner, four games to one. Everybody, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you all sitting here, listening to me talk, bowling, a little bit of fun, UBA all day. It was an interesting match. Juice came out, stayed with it throughout, even with Nick coming back and game four with the 280. You know, anything could have happened in that moment. But Juice weathered the storm. Made a good ball switch. And comes out with the W. Again, Michael Pooty Booty Shaw here. DMV's DC Mafia representing. It was an honor. Again, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Shout out to Juice. Defending this title, maintaining. Much respect and props to Nick Christie. He put up a fight. So his bowling shoes came off. Want to thank you all for tuning in. Until the next time.